I had some dendrobium back bulbs and uh, I just cut a couple of the long ones off and uh, cut like cut them each with like two or three nodes and stuck them in a Ziploc bag and they made roots and little plantlets. Wow. And there's like, yeah, there's like, like maybe four. I don't know what kind of dendrobium it is. Yeah, just cut it right above the node. Like, yeah, they have. I heard that it had to at least have two, like two nodes on it. Now, Pal Pals, this is my dendrobium that was a caking that I cut off the mother plant just a couple of months ago that I named the Yanis. In addition to, that's the new growth, but you have um, one, two, there's another cakey on here somewhere, but you have three cakeys. Oh, here we go. One, two, and then three up there. Three cakey, three more cakeys. I don't know. Um, and then you have um, a new shoot right here. So it's like this thing is just, honey, this is a weed maker, okay? It's the weed maker. So thing. I did the experiment that my pal pal at the American Orchid Society meeting told me to do which was trying to um, get propagations from dendrobium orchid cuttings. And Pal Pal's honey, with great ado, I have great news for you, honey. It worked, it worked. So I'm gonna get this baby out of the bag. I will also inspect the secondary cutting that I placed in here. And we will um, put it in this jar and close it up, honey. Stay tuned. Okay, Fab Pal, so let's open up this baby. Let's open up this baby. Let's open up this baby. So the first thing I'm going to do is get it out of here because, honey, mama um, will tell something up in a minute. So let me be the most careful in getting it out. I can't believe I'm touching something like this. Sit it right there. And we'll look at it momentarily because I'm looking at this jar, honey. This jar might not be big enough. I'm going to use this same moss. So, Fab Pals, if you didn't know, it's been about four weeks, exactly a month, um, that I did this experiment. Um, I'm going to assume that this was a no-go. It looked like maybe black rot, where it maybe got too soggy. Nevertheless, I'm going to discard this one because the ultimate goal was to see if it would actually work. Because you guys know I have um, a few cakeys growing outside as well. And I figured that this would be the one to work because this is the part that had the leaves on it, okay? But as you can see, the little baby... It looks like it even has a root trying to grow, honey. It's so small, Fab Pals. Bear with me. You see? Okay, so this is what is growing. So all I'm going to do is place the moss.
just going to put it somewhere where I can forget about it because obviously it's going to take quite some time um, for this baby to get to maturity. So this is how I have it set up. The jar is enclosed completely. And I'm going to sit it right back in the window so it can get some of that bright sun. But fam pals, as I said, honey, these dendrobium orchids are truly the weeds <laughs> of the orchid community. They are relentless. They will survive the most extreme conditions. So if you want orchids in your home and you're not really invested to um, spend the time that you would need to spend to learn about Phalaenopsis orchids, the dendrobium orchid would surely be best for you. All right, until next time.